Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. We might be about to meet Leonard Shoulder at long last. Uh, Father Roach here has showed us where he lives. It's a long way from town, it turns out. So uh, we've got all sorts of little chickens and, well, a couple of hens and a rooster. A fearsome looking beast. Roosters can be very aggressive. A sweet little hen, plump and well groomed. Yeah, anything else to say, Roach, before we, uh... Oh god, yeah, look, lots. Leonard Shoulder. What else do you know about Mr. Shoulder? A reclusive man. I must say I know very little about him. Does he attend services at St. Edmund's? Not regularly, if at all these days. Perhaps he feels closer to God out here on the moors. What do you make of Mr. Shoulder's residence? A sturdy construction I'm in, no doubt. Yeah, it looks nice. The winds blow a gale out here, not to mention the pelting rain. At least he must have plenty of eggs to eat. <laughs> Awful creatures, those hens. Why? So ask about the blonde girl. Do you know that young girl we saw? No, but I've seen her sneaking around the churchyard. The poor thing is feral. She takes off at the slightest stirring. We will bring the Lord to her. A good time. Perhaps she has her own beliefs. Could be. You said there are others like her. Primitive folk, yes. Avoid the moors in hours of darkness and don't wander too far. I wouldn't entrust a young woman in their company. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Let's ask about the Devil's Toe. Do you know anything else about the Devil's Toe? Not really. I do recall it toppling over when I was a child. A few lads from Bewley rebuilt it to the best of their memories. The Devil mustn't have been happy. <laughs> oh, now, my child. Do not joke about such matters. Ah, come on. What, about, what is it about hens, then? Why don't you like hens, Father? I know I must love all of God's creatures. But they make such an unholy ruckus, oh, okay. and their talons claw at my boots. But they mean no harm, and they provide eggs. These chickens. I cannot abide hen's eggs. They smell of sulphur when rotten. Okay, fine. It's a slightly odd thing to say. There's definitely something weird about this guy. Primitive folk. What more can you tell me of these primitive folk? Godless people, Miss Bateman. Don't concern yourself with them. They live out there on the very edges of this land. If you don't wander too far, you shouldn't cross their path. Okay, Mrs. De Plancy. You mentioned that Mrs. De Plancy is worried about something at the moment. It is not my place to say. Mrs. De Plancy will tell you in good time, if she deems it fit to do so. Fair. Shakespeare. What is your favourite of Shakespeare's works? A very difficult question, Miss Bateman. But one I can answer, nonetheless. I am awfully fond of Cymbeline. An unusual choice. All gold and silver rather turn to dirt. Wouldn't you agree? A fine quote. Mrs. Shoulder? Is there a Mrs. Shoulder? No. I believe Mr. Shoulder has led a life of celibacy. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. <sighs> is, is he just going to hang around or is he going to head off? Like, what, what's the deal here? Oh. <gasps> the glove. That glove looks familiar. I wonder if it matches the glove I found behind the plough and furrow. Okay. A pair of thick woolen trousers. So it seems like the old guy we saw walking away from the inn could well have been him. A woolen undergarment. Okay, can we, uh, can we, like, compare these? The gloves are a pair. Uh, Does this mean Mr. Shoulder was in the alley last seems night? Seems like it. Why didn't he come inside to see me? Very interesting. Mr. Shoulder has stacked blocks of wood neatly beneath this small lean-to. Very neat and tidy. It is. Can we take... I've no desire to lug a block of wood about the countryside. Yeah, but it's an adventure game. You have to. It's the rules. Is he in? No sign of life. None. Right. So the he's... window is nice and clean. The dwelling is by no means abandoned. Okay. Well, I guess we can knock. Mr. Shoulder? Is Thomasina Bateman here? I'm here in Bewley as discussed. Hmm. Maybe try again. His hearing probably isn't the best at his age. Fine, we'll try again. There's a carved stone. A carved stone has been affixed to the door. I think it depicts a crescent moon. Ah. Father, what do you make of this? A peculiar adornment. I've not seen any like this in Bewley, though it does remind me of a passage by the Bard himself. 
It is the very error of the moon. She comes nearer Earth than she was wont, and makes men mad. Uh, I don't know which one this is, actually. Don't actually know. Sorry about the cat in the background as well. He's outside the door and making a racket. The Merchant of Venice? A splendid comedy. But that particular passage is from the great Othello. One out of two, Miss Bateman. Ah, is he keeping track? Is there like an achievement or something? Mr. Shoulder, are you home? Doesn't seem like he is. It appears Mr. Shoulder is not at home. No, he's not. Curses. Perhaps you could try the handle. It's locked. Hmm. Perhaps he's gone for a stroll. Possibly. I'd suggest you call back later, my child. I myself must make my way back home. I have some matters to attend to with the church. Shall I accompany you back to Bewley? Ooh. Let's look around further. Let's go. I think let's let him go. No, you go ahead, Father. Thank you. As you wish. Farewell, Miss Bateman. I hope Mr. Shoulder finds his way to you. Thank you for your help, Father Roach. My pleasure. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Off we go. Uh, enough Shakespeare. <laughs> enough Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> I see you tire of my quotations. Lord be with you. I mean, you're a, you're, you're a bit obsessed, man. You're a well, bit obsessed. Well, Mr. Shoulder, you've brought me to Bewley, and now you're nowhere to be found. I'll just have to find Hobbs Barrow myself. Hmm, okay. Interesting. I mean, let's, let's have a look at our to-do list. Locate Hobbs Barrow. It's time to find Hobbs Barrow myself, okay. In terms of the map, we don't seem to be able to open it here. Can we go this way? We cannot go that way. So we can only go back the way we came from. As I trudged back to Bewley across those cold moors, I made a new resolution. I would find Hobbs Barrow myself, with or without Mr. Shoulder. Bench. The train! That must be Kenneth. I should go and meet him at the station. Okay, we can do that. What does this plaque say? Margaret's lookout. Margaret. I wonder who Margaret is. Good question. Was? Very good question. Can we sit on it? Oh, we can. Nice. Ah, nice. Right. Let's, uh, let's head back this way. Okay, we're back already. Whose is the fresh grave? This appears to be a recently dug, unmarked grave. I'm not sure if I like that there's a fresh grave here, honestly. Seems a bit a bit eerie. Oh, we've unlocked a lot of locations now. Uh, so we could, like, fast travel back to the station, but I, I kind of want to go... I kind of want to get a feel for all of the areas myself, rather than doing that. Um, as well, we can sort of see if anything new appears along the way. <gasps> Hang on. Hang on. A fantastic specimen. Alas, it is not mine to take. There's another fossil. Good day. Yes. Can we ask him about that? I noticed your spectacular oh. fossil specimen. Oh, I, I collect them. This one is called an... Um, Ammonite. I'm impressed, lass. From the Jurassic period, I'd venture. Do you collect them too, then? My true interests lie in comparatively modern history. Oh, I, well, I do love a fossil. It's important to remember that we all end up in the soil eventually. Mm. Quite. Hobbs Barrow. We asked him about that before, didn't we? Are you sure you don't know where Hobbs Barrow is? Sorry, lass. Thanks for your time. Hi. Speak to you later. So it's interesting that that those other kids were like terrified of the fossil, but then this guy's got a fossil in his house. Is it a coincidence? I I honestly don't know. 
This was the way back to the station, though, wasn't it? Yeah, here we are. Ah, this guy works at the station, does he? Where is Kenneth? So, Kenneth isn't here. He was supposed to wait for me at the station. <sighs> Come on, Kenneth. What are you playing at? Well, Arthur's here. Mr. Tillett, where did you go last night? Have we met? Last night at the Plough and mm. Furrow. Oh, Miss Bateman. That's... I was blind drunk last night and woke up with a stinking headache. You still smell like a brewery. <laughs> Sorry. You went to use the lavatory and never came back, Mr. Tillett. I searched everywhere for you. I think I remember you bought me a drink. Yep. Then it's all a blur. I woke up in my bed this morning with my wife sour at me for waking her at some ungodly hour. <laughs> so ask about last night. About last night. What were you going to tell me about Leonard Shoulder? What were you going to tell me about Leonard Shoulder? Who? Leonard Shoulder. You told me you knew him. And promised to tell me more if I bought you a drink. Which I did. So what were you going to tell me? I, uh... Oh, I don't really know the old bugger. Mm. But you said you did. Oh, I... No, no, I, I know note about him. No, note about Leonard Shoulder. Do we believe him? If you say so, maybe he is telling the truth. I don't believe you. You're hiding something, Mr. Tillett. I don't believe you. I say a lot of things when I've got the drink. Honest things. I probably just wanted you to buy me an ale. A likely story. Look, what would I gain from lying to you? I just wanted another drink. Hmm. Even if that's the case, it doesn't explain your disappearance. I, I don't remember out. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. About last night. You really don't remember where you went. You really don't remember where you went last night. As I say, it's all a blur. I remember needing a piss, then nothing. But well, you must have missed me when I came out. No. I did not. I even went to the gents' toilets to find you. Oh, I have sight for sore eyes. It was. I checked <laughs> everywhere, and you were nowhere to be found. The back door leading to the alleyway was blocked from the outside. Oh, I. Yes. You must have exited through that door, Mr. Tillett. But you just said it were blocked. Yeah, blocked from there the outside. There must be outside. an explanation. You could literally have gone and then blocked it. My mind has drawn a blank. Convenient. Why was the door blocked? Did you block it? I told you I don't remember. I've no to say because I remember not. Hmm... Hmm, indeed. I found Mr. Shoulder's house, but he wasn't home. Don't worry, you'll find him. Okay, let's ask about himself. How's your headache faring? It feels like a steam engine is driving full pelt in a circle around my skull. <laughs> Be sure to drink plenty of water, Mr. Tillett. Aye, aye. I'll survive. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Railway station. So, you work here? Aye. Bewley Station Master at your service. Would you like to buy a ticket? Not just yet, thank you. I understand that some of the locals are not too happy about this new station. Aye, I'd go as far as saying the whole village. How long has the station been open for? About three months. We're on the Midland Railway Line. Ah. This employment's been a saviour for me. If I weren't stood here, I'd be drinking my life away at the pub right now. It's worth the occasional withering look from Cyril and the rest of them. Station master. What does a station master do? A bit of this and a bit of that. I don't wish to bore you with such things. As you wish. <laughs> My responsibilities here keep me on the straight and narrow. I'll tell you that much. A sense of duty can do wonders for a lost soul. Indeed. This must be a rather lonesome post to occupy. Trains pass through here more regularly than you might think, lass. Hobbs Barrow. I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. Hmm. Hobbs Barrow. It's why Leonard Shoulder invited me to Bewley. He thought I might like to excavate it. Oh, I, I heard about a Hobbs Barrow somewhere out there. There's some old stories around it. What stories? 
Come on. Oh, come on. Please, this is important. I'm awfully sorry, Miss Bateman. I'll try to remember. If he invited you here, then I'm sure Mr. Shoulder will tell you all about it. That's if I ever get to meet him. Yeah. I'm sure you will. I hope so. Let's ask about Kenneth, then. I'm looking for my assistant, Kenneth. Oh, aye. His train has arrived. Not a single soul disembarked the last train. Ah, oh, come on. Impossible. Kenneth's train. Was that not the midday train from London by way of Derby? Aye, it were. Mr. Price were here, unloaded a few crates. But no Kenneth. Not a soul. Hold on. One of them crates had your name on it, Miss Bateman. Did it Quite now? A big one it were, with... A red ribbon. Aye. What is Kenneth playing at, sending my equipment but not himself? Curses. <laughs> Where's the crate? Where is my crate now? Mr. Price took away all the crates on his cart. Who? Mr. Price. He's the postmaster. Ah, okay. Where can I find Mr. Price? In town. He lives above the storeroom, just north of the plough and furrow. You'll see it. There's a royal mail plaque on the wall. Thank you. Yeah, I think we saw that, didn't we? Where can I find Mr. Price? Oh, we... He lives above... You'll okay, we asked that already. Farewell for now. Ta-ra. All right. See you later then, Arthur. Um... What's going on here? Oh, is that is it that creepy cat again? Looks like it is. All right, well, we're not going to follow the creepy cat now because we are out of time. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. It's really good, isn't it? Of course, Kenneth didn't show up, and of course, Leonard's shoulder wasn't in the house. It's um, it's bound to happen, isn't it? There's something strange about this place. I'm sure of it. So, guys, thank you all very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons: Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Tumney Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, and Coomadin. And I'll see you next time.